Inside of this video, I'm going to do a complete walkthrough of setting up Sierra charts so you can set up footprint charts exactly like me. This has been a highly requested video and I have not seen a single YouTube video that walks you through the entire step-by-step -step process of setting up Sierra chart in one video. Sierra charts, it's super complicated to set up, but once you have it set up, it's the best and most powerful platform to actually use order flow on. So in this video, I hope to help you get that set up the shortest amount of time possible in the most clear manner possible. If you find this video helpful, helpful and useful make sure you drop a like and comment because i'm going to be posting more value-packed videos like this in the future without further ado let's set up your footprint charts using sierra charts for this video i made an entire presentation going over how to set up sierra charts and this is not free this will take between five to seven days to get everything sorted so make sure you stick around and watch to the very end because if you don't you're gonna miss steps and then you're gonna have to figure this out on your own i recommend actually setting up sierra as you watch this video so it helps you in the best way possible first thing you want to do is you want to sign up for an account you want to go to sierrachart.com and then over here you can hit create account and sign up for an account once you do that, you log into that account and then you'll actually be able to go ahead and start activating all the services. So first thing you want to do is click on account management, go to activate services. Then you want to click on update account information and then fill out all this information. So now that you've set up your account, you're going to actually go ahead and purchase the Sierra charts. Once you've actually set everything up, you want to go ahead and purchase the Sierra chart subscriptions. So for that, you need to go to account management and then go ahead and click pricing. Once you click that, you want to go over to Sierra charts, the service package 11. And from there, you'll be able to see this. You're going to scroll down and you want to look at the pricing discounts. I personally suggest doing the three months or the six months because those provide really good discounts for not that much money. As you can see here, this is what you'll see for three months. You get a 10% discount, 20% discount if you buy it for six months. I usually go with the six month option. From there, you're going to go into account management and then hit make a payment. In order to actually go ahead and buy a subscription on Sierra Charts, what you have to do is you have to deposit money into Sierra Charts to be able to buy the subscription. So you have to go to make a payment and then over here, put in how much you're doing. So for me, since I'm buying the six month package, I went and put $221 in. And then from there, you just choose which payment you wanna check out from and that's that. From there, you have to activate that service. You have to go to account management, activate services, you open this list down here on available services and since we chose service package 11 that's the one we click the six month version and then after that you hit update and set right here now once you have that you actually need to get live data and in order to do that you have to be connected to a broker that shows that you're a retail trader the brokerage that i personally use is amp they have 300 dollars margin for one mini really low margin requirements so all you do there is you go ahead register as a new user and start a new application and once your account gets approved it's going to look something like this on your home page then you go to treasury and you need to deposit at least 100 dollars for the account to stay activated otherwise it's going to automatically close and you can withdraw this anytime that you want in the future after that it's going to take a few days for them to have the money and actually approve it after the hundred dollars hits your account you're going to have the trade desk option you want to click on trade desk click request live account choose sierra charts teton and make sure it's teton they're going to ask you to provide your sierra login to confirm that it's you and this process takes one or two days then what you have to do is you have to purchase data you're going to go back to sierrachart.com you're going to click getting started from there you're going to click data and trade services click on denali exchange data feed then you're going to choose activate the exchanges the cme group which is all the way down here then you're going to activate slash deactivate that exchange and then you need to make sure your account is marked as a non-professional that's actually why you go with amp because it'll mark you as a non-professional but for some reason if it's marked as a professional and they're going to try charging you a hundred dollars a month for this market data so just open a ticket with sierra support and they'll update you to a non-professional where it's only 13 dollars a month so you're going to pick number four, the $13 a month. And then if you don't have enough money in your account, in your Sierra account to actually do that, just go back into the previous part of this video where it shows how to make a payment process and deposit those funds into Sierra. Then to activate that data, you have to go back into account management, activate services, scroll down, and then fill out the forms and choose non-professional. It's going to look something like this. After that, you can go ahead and start doing the fun stuff. You can download Sierra Chart software by going to Getting Started, Software Download. Then you click on the software download, 
and this is what's going to pop up once you've gone through the download process. You're just going to put in your credentials that you had previously in the start of this video. There's going to be a lot of default chart books open. All you have to do is go to the bottom where it has these tabs, right click and click close. Then I'm going to actually be providing you guys a template or a chart book inside of my free telegram. So go to the first link in the description. It's a free telegram. The pinned message will have all of my chart books that I use for completely free. To open those, you go to file, open chart book, folder, download, okay, and choose a chart book that you just downloaded to open. And then this is what you should see. Then you have to actually go ahead and activate the data inside of CR charts. So go to file, day trade, slash service settings. Click on current selected service and click Teton CME routing. Then you want to go to clearing firm and click AMP. And now you should have live data set up. You open up Sierra charts. Now your chart book should be up, but it's not the right contract. So you need to go to chart, chart settings, symbol, select. This table is going to pop up. And over here at the top, you can choose which symbol you want. And then over here, you just go to future CME and then it'll have ES and NQ, which is what I mainly trade. Then this is what you should see after doing everything correctly. It's a chart book, live data, and everything else you need. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. This is by far the simplest and most straightforward video on YouTube on setting up Sierra and footprint charts. If you found value in this and this helped you with the process, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, because I'll be posting a lot more videos like this. And remember, if you want my chart books for completely free, look at the first link in the description, click on it, go to the pinned message, and you will see all of my chart books are completely free. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like, make sure you guys subscribe, and go ahead and watch my other videos if you guys want to learn more about order flow or trading in general. I hope this video was valuable. I hope this video helped you guys set up Sierra because I remember when I first set it up, it took me a week plus navigating it on my own. So I hope I cut down that process for you guys and you can get this set up as soon as possible. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.